Hi folks, and welcome back to Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony. I was just gonna say three, but the V is important. The V is very important. You can never forget the V. No. Um, <laughs> and find you that can never spot. forget the V spot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you and me, you and me. You were there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Same brain. Um, so, uh, last time, um, <sighs> chapter one reached a deeply tragic, but very compelling conclusion. Mm -hmm. Whereupon we realized that the character that we had been uh, accompanying throughout the, the entire first chapter, Kaede Akamatsu, was in fact the Blackened. She had uh, killed Rantaro Mame, uh, Mame in an attempt to kill the mastermind and end the killing school you know, trip altogether. Yes. Um, but had failed and had also failed in revealing the mastermind in the school trial. Mm -hmm. um, Shuichi learned that he had to face the truth. He had to reach out to the truth and face it with his own eyes. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and um, he did so, but in doing so, he uh, resigned Kaede to a very gruesome death. Um, we witnessed her execution and also Shuichi's mourning afterwards as he went to Kaede's piano uh, sort of uh, room, listened to uh, Moonlight Sonata, Ugh. and had a moment where he resolved himself to uh, accomplish the dreams of his fallen friend. Yes. So we are now at the very beginning of chapter two, and we don't know what that means. We know that we are Shuichi now, yep. so that's different. I, I have to say, one, I'm I am sad that we have lost a a female protagonist. I, I do want to point out the elephant in the room that we mm -hmm. did lose a female protagonist, and that does that is kind of disappointing. But the the way that everything was handled, I feel like was handled to the best that it could have been, you mm -hmm. know. And it was a it was extremely compelling, and like from a narrative standpoint, I, extremely compelling. Like, yeah. Wow. Holy shit. Super well written. I don't fault it for anything. Uh, I, secondly, I am sad that I I lost my character that I was voicing. I know <laughs> I, I, you you were character. geared up to play the the narrator character for the whole game. I was ready to go. I was like, this is it. We we're back to one of to me. It's my game yeah. now. Yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. I stole it from you. <laughs> I'm excited for you, but uh, I'm very curious to see how Shuichi carries on Kaede's legacy of trying to get us out of here and mm -hmm. figure out w what the hell's going on. Because I, that was something that I was thinking about in between episodes, because it has, you know, this is a new c recording session. Of, you know, mm -hmm. we'll pull back the curtain a little bit. I, as I was thinking about it, I was like, okay, what the fuck are we doing? Why are we here? What is this state of the world, world state, Within the gr the greater Duncan well bleh, the greater yeah. Duncan Rampa universe, mm -hmm. are we in? Is this just an alternate universe? Are we? Is it the same as the same world that we had been in previously? Who the fuck is Monokuma? What? I mean, like, that's always a fun question. Yes. Is who is Monokuma? Who is Monokuma? Who is the mastermind? Why are we here? What is the point? Like, why are we in this big bubble bird cage at the edge of the end of the world, supposedly? What does that mean? Like, I, I just so, here's the thing. I don't want to say that it's simulation part two, uh, uh, you know, simulation two. Electric Boogaloo. Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. But, <laughs> but. I don't think it is, but uh, what if it what if it was so meta that it it pulled a doki doki? Is kind of where I, I'm at, where it's like it's gonna be a that was I mean that ding, was your ding. theory a little while ago. Was yes, that, that the, it was a it was a transcendent it was a doki doki transcendent game. Type yes, of thing. Yeah. like a like a ding ding knock on the screen. Hey player, <laughs> why are you here? Great question. I want to know why I'm here too, and I guess the reason why I'm here is, is you gave me another Donk and Rompa game. And I'm like, I gotta play oh, it. I like it. And if it's aware enough to be like, yeah, we gave you another Donk and Rompa game to play. Ha! You fell for that shit, and it's gonna like sucker punch me in the nose for it. I'm really here for that. That would um, be fun. That would be super fun. But also, like, what is that? What does that mean? What, I, what is that going to do? I, like, I think it's a really, really good question because I think we we don't have any real clues yet, to yep. be honest. I, I think what's very interesting about the first case is that it is very self-focused. Yes. Um. So I think maybe that's just something for us to, to continue to look at. 
No, I think you're right. It is very self-focused. However, I do think that they're they're doing some like hee hee cheeky little things in it. Like I I ha I just having having played Danganronpa games, I can just feel it that there are moments happening. I'm like, this is a puzzle piece, and it's not going to be made clear what this is for until like you know 20 hours later yeah like, and uh, do you are is there is there any specific one that you're like you're fixated on because well, i'm very curious there's two things i mean yeah. one there's rantaro because rantaro has had i mean we ended the last chapter with monokuma saying rantaro had a hunch of like what was going on uh, too bad you killed him too bad you killed him yeah let's move on um i think we're gonna circle back to that uh rantaro pre uh the memory wipe had also had uh, shit on his mind mm -hmm. that I think is related to his hunch as well, um, potentially. Yeah, I, I, I think I think Rantaro is very important here, and I think there is something going on with the knowledge that he has, or I guess didn't have whenever he died, mm -hmm. or partially had that relates to the situation that we're in. Yeah. Um, because I, I had suspected him as being, a, as being a fourth wall breaking meta character that was gonna be like, oh, I see what's happening. <laughs> I know what's going on. We're in a, we're in a, we're in a Dong Rumpa game, huh? It would like, be sad <laughs> if that was the case and he was immediately killed. And he was killed. <laughs> That's rendering that utterly yes. useless. <laughs> yes, yeah. Again, s similar parallels, much in the same way to Dong Rumpa 2, whenever the, uh, um, well, but the imposter, imposter didn't have any information. No. That was sort of the reveal, is that the whole time we thought he had the information that he was going to share, he could have shared, and then yes. he didn't, and then it was like, oh, no, he never had any info to begin with. Yeah, I guess He was what just I mean... a nice dude that was very good at lying. Yes, yes. I, I guess I mean a, a, a twist on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Um, and then my... The other thing that is, like, also super bothering me is uh, Monodam. <laughs> Monodom, yeah. Monodom, uh, or Monodam, or Monodam, whatever, yeah. Monodom, uh, uh, killing his brother yeah. and then being like, "I did it for you all." <laughs> other, other than to be like, you know, uh, Mono Kid was super fucking annoying, yeah, and just he was he had been bullied so much, and it's time to get rid of him. But uh, I just I had the super whack theory that that Monodom is is a mole in some way. He's like, he's a he's a um, uh, monomy type of like agent in the system or a, like, either yeah that or has been um, you know uh, hijacked by somebody else okay. and cool. is trying to intercept possibly in some way. Um, but you know is is playing uh, the part of the robot character that doesn't say anything. It's fair. So it works really well as a cover. It's a good cover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so of all the characters to hack, that's the smart one. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, and then I'm also just thinking a lot about, um, I don't know, we'll, we're, it's almost 10 minutes in, we gotta play the game. We gotta but, play the game. But like, like these ultimates specifically and like how they are determined to be ultimates like what was the process for saying like these are ultimates now like because mm -hmm. you know in the previous games we had we had the system of like hope's peak and like that they and the scouts and, and the, the assessment scouts, and the yeah yeah they were the ones that determined uh ultimates and in this one they just kind of like yes these are ultimates don't no, question there's, there's a board they, there's they a talked board. about there's a whole there's a there's a program yes it's they, not it is not a school but there is a a a, a they, group by which they are selected. That's true. The, yeah, there is a program. There's something. Yeah. Um, and I don't know. It's like I does that still apply? When are we right now in time? Like, there's just there are some huge gaping holes. There are in, some big gaping holes. I yeah. agree. Um, and I I commend Kaeda to be to, for being like, we need to find the mastermind so we can figure out what's going on and, and get the hell out of here and. So nobody else has to die, including me. Mm -hmm. um, but also, like, there, it just feels so big. Everything feels really, really big, yeah. and I'm a little overwhelmed. Yeah, you know. So there's so, so much we don't know. Yeah. All right. Well, then, let's go into chapter two. I have it on this screen because uh, there's a perpetual zoom out that's yeah, happening. That is I had true. To, I had to we stop have to. It. We have to. We can go back to the perpetual zoom out. All right. Let's let the scene happen. There we go. Yep. It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. What? Okay. Was it really just an accident, though? I honestly can't believe that. 
I can't say it too loudly, but they were probably killed by that group. What is happening right now? <laughs> Great question. What is happening right now? Huh? I thought so. Who's talking? Oh no. Well, there's nothing we can do about that. What the fuck? What the fuck? I just went on this 10 minute rant and then the scene proceeds. <laughs> What's happening? Yeah. I wanted them to live. For our sake at least. What? Jeez. I wish they lived. What? So Rintaro is not up here. Is this supposed to be all of us? Mm. I don't see Rintaro. There's, there's a glare on all the others. We don't know. Yeah. Or they're empty. That's why I was, th I was thinking they're yeah. empty. But two people just died. Yeah. Weird. What is this scene? Who's talking right now? No. They should have lived. They had to. For this world. Dude, what? Just. What was that? What was that? Don't worry about it. What do you mean, don't worry about there's it? No, there's no way it's important. No! I what? wouldn't worry too much. <sighs> who, who was that? Who was talking just now? What? I'm like, I'm like freaked out. Okay, <laughs> we can continue. I don't know who's saying this. Were you hiding? Where, where, uh, where are you, where are where you, you hiding? hiding? Where, are you, where are you hiding? Come out. No more hiding. Come out now. Oh. Hey! Hey! Come out, bugs! Where are you all hiding? Oh, it was... Where Where are you hiding? We just suddenly jumped to... Okay. Don't worry about strange rapper Don't... <laughs> to this chapter. What? Ah! No! It... <laughs> Simulation 2? Put it out of your mind. No, don't tell me to put it out of my mind. <laughs> uh, they can't do that. Can they do that again? I mean, I wouldn't be mad about it, but I'll also be like, <laughs> are you doing it again? Uh, wouldn't, okay. Now, here's here's something interesting. That was the big reveal of Duncan Rompa 2. What if chapter two is like, hey, by the way, you're in a you're in a I mean, that's kind of how chapter uh, like Danganronpa two dealt with Danganronpa one. Exactly. Yeah. That's kind of what I mean. Yeah. Like, I mean, and the the start of this one too was like, hey, we should think about a mastermind because someone is controlling all of this. And like, I guess the question is, what would to what end? Yeah. Why would we be in a computer yeah. simulation? And so I think I think it. You know, I don't know. This is a great. Yeah. Uh, it's a great question. Um, uh, that's the only that's the only way if you're gonna do it again. You, need you to, have to do it early. You need to do it early. Yeah. Yes. Uh, in the same way that, like, I feel like it actually worked for having your protagonist be the blackened super early as well. Because I had said really early on, like, that would be really interesting if the p character you're playing as. Yeah, but you don't want to do that chapter four. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the fact that they did it when they did it mm -hmm. was kind of the only way it could work. So, yep. Anyway. Just when gone to think he finds some, they're gone. Oh, yeah, there's no bugs here. Yep. Yeah. What the fuck? Weird. Really weird. I agree, Gonta. Plenty trees, grass, water, sun, but no bugs. Why? There should be bugs. Weird. So weird. Hey, bugs! If any bugs here, come out! Gonta want to talk to you! <laughs> hmm? Hmm? What that? Something on ground and grass. Words written on it? We're just with Gonta? Yeah. What's, what's the words on the ground? What's the... Horse A. Horse A. Okay, that was just... A... Oh my god. Things are happening. The start to this chapter. Chapter two. <laughs> chapter two. Let's fucking go, gamers. <laughs> oh god. Well, oh. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, uh, what's on our? Oh, it's Monica. It's, it's our one. It's the one we picked up. Yeah. yeah. Other two. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Who is it? Wait, I, I, I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. With the doorbell, uh, with the doorbell hurrying me along, I went to open the door. Is it Gonta? No. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? It's already morning. Huh? Kaito? Uh, hi, buddy. Hold on. I'm just gonna look at this real quick. Uh, cause I think this is just a shelf of our collectibles, right? Yeah. That's it. Those are just the ones we found in chapter That's all that matters. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's all. 
Uh, what's up, Kaijo? Uh, um... Uh, do you, uh, do you need something? Come on, man. Well, yeah, food! Jeez. I was gonna eat breakfast with everyone in the dining hall, but you weren't there. That's why I came to get you. Huh? Uh, uh but I don't recall making any plans. I mean... You should be at the dining hall anyway. I mean, where else are you gonna get eat breakfast? Hey! Uh, I, I don't usually eat breakfast, so... Huh? Are you serious? If you don't eat breakfast, then what do you eat in the morning? Huh? Uh... Uh... Right. Ah, whatever. Come on, let's get going. The others are waiting! Ugh! Oh. Uh, wait, I, I, I'm not ready. Let me get my... Actually, never mind. I don't need that anymore. Oh? Okay. Okay, let's go. Did you take your hat off? Ah. Is your hat gone? Oh, right. I was gonna tell you. My bad. Uh, I'm sorry about yesterday. You know, for slugging you like that. Huh? Oh, uh... <laughs> Uh, that's a- it's okay. I see. Uh, I, I see. The whole- this side of my face is one big bruise. Yeah. But, you know. <laughs> then, uh, let's go. Oh, okay. Is there anything I need in here? Mm, I don't think so. It's just a room. Okay, let's just go. I suppose. Onward. Onward we go. Hey, Kaito. Is that it? Is there anyone else I feel like there? we're being sheepdog herded here. Yeah. Kaito? <laughs> Right. Everyone's waiting for you, you know. Let's hurry and get to the dining hall. Okay. All right. All, all right. right. All right, buddy. I'm on my way. Thanks for looking out for us. I suppose, you know. Yeah. He, he, it seems like he, that. That does seem like what he's doing. Yeah. Like he came to check on us. Yeah. And he's not gonna let us hide away. Oh, sorry. Big and... old Exosol. Hey, buddy. Yep. Hey, buddy. I'm just gonna. That is fair. Run on in. I could have looked at the X's. I could have like looked around or it's, anything. It, it's okay. It sounds like everyone's in the dining hall yeah. already. Okay, dining hall is here to the right. Yep. And we go over here, and then the left, and then a left down here, and then right in here. I can know my way around Indeed. when I try to look at the map. Sometimes. Hi, Hi everyone. Everybody. Holy shit! Hi everyone. Hmm. Writing. Oh, I guess this is why we're meeting, because Gonta found horse A. Honest. Yeah. Looks so, uh, like someone tried to hide writing in grass. Weird, right? Uh, hmm. Otua says it's just graffiti. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> oh, now, now we don't gotta worry about it anymore. Oh, okay, thanks. Jeez. Atua? That's even more suspicious. My, my. Oh, are you saying Ottawa is suspicious? Oh, how sad. Cut it out. That's none of your business. Jeez. What's up with you guys? Are you still talking about that graffiti? You know... Whatever. I brought Shuichi, so let's start breakfast already. I quickly realized that everyone was staring at me. Oh. Huh? Oh. Yeah? Yeah? As I expected, they were looking at me with surprise on their faces. Huh. No Good hat! Man. He's got the protagonist he, hair! He's got, he was hiding his protag hair. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> he looked good with the hat, I he, miss it. He but... did look good with the hat, but I do love how every protagonist does have the protagonist Indeed. little Indeed, you have spike. to be able to grab him by it and whip him around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it changes direction based yeah. on like... <laughs> Just a little antenna. <laughs> yeah. For trouble. Yeah. <sighs> good morning. Oh, Shuichi. Um... You finally got rid of that emo hat! <laughs> Is this because Kayeti died or whatever? <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Kokichi. <laughs> Quiet, you male! Learn some manners, why don't you? Oh, huh. You're not wearing your hat. I didn't even notice. And you can stand to learn some manners too, you insensitive jerk! No, I just felt like it was getting in the way, is all. Oh. Oh. Uh, um... Oh. <laughs> you don't have to stare. I just took my hat off. It's not a big deal. That is correct. You are right. My apologies. I... I like it. 
I think you look more handsome with your hat off. Thank you. Uh, uh, th thank you. <laughs> yeah, how nice for you. Unlike plain Jane over here who turns invisible as soon as her glasses come off. Um, I am plain, but it's the other way around. Taking off my glasses reveals my true form. <laughs> Didn't you know? Those who see my true form pay a terrible price. I kill them. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. Listen up. I, I love your version of her. <laughs> very, very much. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've just made her a different no, character. It's really fun though, and I love the bit. <laughs> You have forever transformed her in my eyes. Perfect. <laughs> and for the better. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Uh, anyway, uh, don't be late, Shuichi. We've already, we, uh, we deci bleh, we already <laughs> decided we're eating breakfast together. This is stupid. You decided that on your own. <laughs> yes, of course. Yes, yes. I prepared breakfast for everyone. Huh? Really? You did? That is correct. Indeed. It was no trouble at all. I have prepared an Italian omelette, buttermilk pancakes, smoked salmon galette, and for those who prefer Japanese cuisine, I have prepared rice balls and miso soup. That sounds good. That sounds really great. <laughs> what? <laughs> Kirumi, be my mom! Gonto wants you to be his mom too! <laughs> oh, he meant it like, like yeah. you're so cool. You're so be cool, my mom. be my mom! <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually kind of cute. It's pretty cute. Oh, yeah. What are you two even saying? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah! I'll show you guys something really neat. Look, look! When Himiko eats, she makes the cutest face. Oh. Oh, she's like a small animal. Stop it. Mm, stop it. You're making it hard for me to eat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the noise I make when I eat my breakfast. And do most other things, <laughs> yeah. too. We yeah. chatted casually as we began eating the food Kirami had brought out. Amazing! Going to not mean to flatter, but all oh, this food's so yummy! <laughs> Excellent. Mm, it's so delicious. It makes me want to cut off my tongue. My You're here too, you Correcchio. Is here. Mm -hmm. The rice balls aren't just ordinary old rice balls either. <laughs> the outside is packed tightly so it won't fall apart, but the inside is nice and soft. And because the rice wasn't crushed, you can taste every sweet, sticky grain, even when it's cold. I'm so glad you're here for it, Tenko. Jeez. Hey, do you have some sort of god tongue or something? May I? By not crushing the rice, the air is able to flow between each individual grain. The triangle shape itself is less important than maintaining a loose grip as you form the shape. You will find it much easier if you imagine yourself gripping it with your entire body. Mm, yeah, I can't make rice balls. I can't even tell the difference between rice and termites. Hey. How have you survived this long? Mm. Oh? Hmm? What's wrong, Key Boy? You're not eating? Oh, I see. Oh, yeah! I totally forgot you can't eat! You know, because you're a robot. Hey! Hey, now, don't look so down. I'll bring you a broken TV later. Well, I don't- I don't want that. I'm not a waste receptacle. You can read people great, I'm Angie. very good at sensing vibes. <laughs> <laughs> we were having a normal conversation, as if nothing had happened. But we all knew it wasn't really normal. It was forced conversation. Yeah, we gotta say something to keep moving forward. Yep. Oof. But that's to be expected. That incident just happened yesterday, after all. B both of them both died of them. yesterday. That's right, because the trials happen so fast. Yep. It's like... Same day. It's all same day. Oh my god. Everyone's forcing themselves. That's why. Oof. 
This kind of forced normalcy is just making us remember what happened. Hmm? hmm? What's the matter, Shuichi? If you're not gonna eat this, I'll just help myself. Ah. Oh. Uh, sorry, uh, hey, I was gonna eat that. I pushed those unnecessary thoughts out of my head and shoveled food into my mouth. By the way. By the way, that thing Gonta talked about earlier. Are we going to go check it out? Ah, fucking virgin! <laughs> Quit fussing over some lousy graffiti and worry about your shitty future instead. Huh? Huh? Uh, graffiti? Um... Oh! Gonta find it this morning! Hey! On concrete, hidden in grass! Words, horse A, written there. It's something. Hmm. Huh? Uh, what do you think it means? Hmm. Well, its meaning is entirely shrouded in mystery. I see. Not even the ultimate anthropologist knows. I thought it was some anthropology thing. Yo! Well, how about it, Shuichi? Let's hear the ultimate detective's opinion. Huh? Uh-huh. Uh... I... Don't know? I, I don't know either. But, but... Gonta! I'm surprised you are able to find that graffiti hidden in the grass! Feeling divine? Do you channel the divine too? No. Oh, uh, that, that cuss of tiny bugs! <laughs> <laughs> bugs? I thought vermin were nowhere to be seen in this academy. Um... Yeah, Gonta think that before, but... Oh, sorry. But... When out walking in courtyard, going to think he see tiny bug. Oh, really? You saw a bug? But bug so tiny, even going to no see it, and going to have twenty twenty zero point six two five eyesight. Almost perfect vision. <laughs> <laughs> but you wear glasses. I mean, maybe that's what your vision is with the glasses. I don't know. <laughs> but maybe going to just mis uh, just make mistake. But going to think. Or maybe they're not real glasses and they just make him look gentlemanly. <laughs> <laughs> that would be something. <laughs> He's going for that Kyoya vibe. Yes! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> totally. Maybe. No. Maybe Gonta just see things. Degenerate male! Gah! Just make up your mind already, you degenerate! Which means... So, you found that message while you were out chasing some bug? Oh. Wow, Gonta, you did it! I knew I could rely on you since the moment we met. <gasps> what? Really? It's true! Uh, yep. So, you should work for me. Got it. Okay! Oh, boy. What? What? You're just going to agree to it just like that? Hey! Uh, be careful, Gonta. That guy's a real liar. Huh? What? Really? <laughs> no way! Thank goodness! Good! Then Gonta have no reason to worry! Uh? Will you just believe anyone? <laughs> Gonta, you're so gullible! You know, if you keep being this gullible... Oh, no. What the fuck? <laughs> You'll be killed before you know it. Understand? Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. The moment Kokichi said that word, the warm and casual mood shattered. What's the matter? What's wrong, everyone? Is there a problem with Kokichi's advice? <sighs> oh, Kokichi. You know should say things like that, even as joke! Hmm? Hmm? Say what? Kill? Has the K-word been banned? <sighs> oh, sorry. I, I didn't know. <laughs> <sighs> But that's not very reasonable, is it? Not when the killing game is still happening. Hmm? How can you be so insensitive? Especially after what happened yesterday. I'm ready! This is why I hate degenerate males! They're about as considerate as amoebas! Hey! Don't complain if some scary guy yells, What color is your blood at you? You uh, really don't I didn't get, get that it. reference. <laughs> Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I do appreciate that people in the comments do call out what her references I agree. are. Uh, I agree. My problem is even when they're references to shows I've seen, they're just sideways enough yes. that I don't necessarily get them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. They're like extremely, yeah, sideways. Is yeah. The way to put it. It's that kind of talk that lets Monokuma play you all like fiddles. Huh? What? 
Oh? Oh. Did you hear that? Don't mind me. I was just talking to myself. Hi. Hi. Every time he flies into frame, it's a little different. <laughs> Hello. Looks like you guys are having a good time. Let me join in. No. It's fuck. Refute. <laughs> Confirm. Consent. I, no, I don't. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're having a jolly good time ganging up on me. What? Isn't that your fault? Huh? Huh? Ganging up? Hey! No bullying! Bullying is not cool! Bullying is the worst! You're Personally, annoying. I think bullying is because of lousy parenting. <laughs> <laughs> it's all parents' fault! They should do a better job raising their kids! More importantly, why are you even here? Yeah. I'm trying to see if I speak about children long enough, if it'll summon my bear cubs and I get to remember how many of them are left. <laughs> ah, I figured I'd give you guys a prize for surviving the first class trial. Huh? A prize? A prize. Rise and ah, damn it. There they are. I mean, I was right. Yeah. Four. Rise and Four shine bears. Ah, ah, ah. Rise and shine, her sign. Um. Um. Uh, the reward, right? Hmm. We brought it, yep. So uh, I'll just give it to you then. Hmm? Huh? Huh? Right My kids seem a little under the weather. Well, even so, they're so freaking adorable. Hmm? I think. Are you being bullied? <laughs> yeah! Huh? Uh, that's, um... I knew it. I knew it. I understand from experience. Huh? I can't get her voice tonight. What the fuck's going on? Sound funny, uh, sound funny. <laughs> from experience? Himiko, were you the victim of a bully of bullying in the past? Is that why your heart was broken and you can't express real emotions anymore? No, oh, Kinko, whoa. <laughs> You're the worst uh, the worst. Use your magic to turn the human rejects who bullied you into misshapen wretches! Stop it. I don't use my magic for stuff like that. And don't just make up my backstory. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. The monocubs bully each other? Oh. But they what? only have one parent! <laughs> no! No way! The monocubs should always get along! Because you're a good parent. Uh-huh! Hey, you kids play nice together, all right? I'm not a lousy parent, am I? Even if you do bully each other real bad, it's not because I'm a bad dad, right? We are all friends. We all get along, always. Oh, yes, we do. Right. See, my kids are good kids. They would never bully each other. Why, you? The bullying will never stop because of people like you. Oh, well. Well, I think the, threaten I think the threatening vibe we monocubs give off is perfect. And that's that. Cause we're a team of scary badasses who are go are gonna drag you down to hell. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, such adorable little badasses. Got it. Anyway, we're gonna hand out the rewards you've all been waiting for. What do we got? Some random Listen shit. Up. It's an ocarina. These are fabulous, nonsensical prizes for you. A dragon gem, an ocarina, an ancient passport, and a hexagonal crank from. I know what to uh, do with one of those. Game. Thanks, Monodom. Wait, what, what? What? What's what's which one? The ancient passport? Yeah. <laughs> what's that from? No, it. it I don't. <laughs> never mind. Anyway, it's a, I'm assuming the dragon gem is a dragon ball, and then we've got an ocarina. And then I don't know, the hexagon. I more meant immediate some... actual utility. I think we have some idea of what to do with the ancient passport. Oh. It's been a while since we've wandered the halls, but we've seen a place where to go. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, wait, the dragon gem's going to go in the dragon. The ancient passport is going to go, go in, the slot, in the slot. And then there's an ocarina and a, and a... And a crank. And a crank. <laughs> okay, okay, I understand now. These are for unlocking shit. Okay. These prizes all come in a bundle. Wow. Bundle. What a bunch of <laughs> random junk. 
Bravo! Bravo! I, le I legit was like, it's random crap. <laughs> it's like, thank you for being like, it's not though. I mean, it, it, <laughs> it definitely is, but also, yeah. <laughs> so this is, I'm assuming, how we're gonna unlock other parts of the school mm -hmm. is going up to these Perhaps. things. Yes. Yay! I don't get why these are prizes, but aren't they lovely anyway? Yep. Oh, that cubs. What? What's all this crap? What are we supposed to do with this? To tell you the truth. Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe there's a way to use them without knowing what they're for? Who cares? Just put your best foot forward. It's easier to move forward than backwards. How nice. No. Don't get inspired by him, Gonta. Yeah. Anyway, that's the situation, so just do your best however you please. Okay, bye. So long, farewell, please. Monodom, what's going on with you? We Let's go. What? You're just, uh, you're gonna get payback for all the bullying, uh, uh, you're gonna get payback for all the bullying by attacking us in our secret weak point? Secret weak point? You mean the nape of our necks? Is that how we can kill them? Pop. Yeah. N not that. Anything but that. Actually, wait. So the nape of your necks is your weak point? I, I would never do that. I just want to get along. Eh? What? Get along? Really? You stupid. Don't let him fool you. He killed Monokid, remember? I guess that's why they're kind of freaked out, because... <laughs> There's a murderer There's a murder. in our midst. Yeah. We didn't really like that other so one, but... Farewell. Yeah. I don't even remember his name. I think his name was Mono Boy. <laughs> that sounds right to me. <laughs> <laughs> That robot looking one get left out makes me think of Kibo. Huh? Am I really excluded? Hey. So, what should we do with this junk? Could it be? Maybe we need to use these on those mysterious things all over campus? I fucking know what's going on. <laughs> like, she admittedly was standing next to one being was. like, this reminds me of a dragon. Yeah, yeah it's like exactly. a dragon ball. Exactly. <laughs> and what'll happen when we do? Uh, um, I'm not sure. See? Well, we'll know once we try. I'll take the junk then. Ah. No, let's leave this to Shuichi. Huh? What? Uh, me? Hey! You're the ultimate detective, yeah? You should be good at weirdo puzzles like this. Got it. So I'm gonna leave it to you. Mm. Uh, okay. Okay, I'll try. Man. Man. Whatevs, I guess I'll be fine. So, I need to go around the academy and figure out what these mysterious objects are for. Alright, let's get going. Oh! So long, peace out, well, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Peace yeah. out, Cub Scout. <laughs> yeah. Let's go! I, I want it to be peace out, In Cub my Scout. mind, it's peace out, Cub Scout. <laughs> Nobody can tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> I really like that more. Okay. Um, let's one's to the left. Yeah, one's see. like over. I think it's to the left here. Yeah, isn't it like here? Yeah, it's right past the transition. Uh, okay. Like I gotta go through here. Yeah, and then it'll, it'll be along the wall. Okay. There it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right here. I'm gonna. Talk. I can't make that noise. I love the noise. Yeah, that, yeah. that one. <laughs> I can't do it. My name is Himiko. Okay, we're gonna talk to her. Real quick. Mm -hmm. My magic is reacting. Huh? Your magic? Hmm. There's something around here. There's no mistake. Okay. Hint, well. hint, nudge, nudge. Use this. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do the ancient That passport. one. We got an achievement. One, one man's trash. trash. Is another man's uh, big hallway. hallway. <laughs> <laughs> We're really like on We're the way. We're in playing. sync today. It's really nice. It's awesome. <laughs> the wall came down. Oh, was it because of my magic? 
No. Uh, no. I used an item on this object and... It's magic. It was my magic. Uh, um... Uh, okay. Uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna argue with you. Are you still here? Oh, hi. Hi. I'm gonna talk to you before I go in. With my magic. Because of my magic, we're able to move on. You're right. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm. You. Isn't there something you should say? Uh, um... Uh, thank you. Hmm. Hmm. You should rely on my magic from now on. Okay. Okay. She can do. Thank you, Himiko. We're gonna go down the hallway and see what we got. We got... Uh, what is that? Oh, it's an ultimate research. Maybe this is for Himiko. Pro quite possibly. Yeah. This door is different from the others. It might be an ultimate research lab. It's got a strawberry on it. Uh -huh. And magic circles. And an alchemical circle. Uh, from the look of it, I'd guess it's the ultimate magician's lab. Okay. Oh, we just go in. Holy shit. Hi, check everybody. It out. That's Dubs. True. Wow. As I suspected, it's full of stuff related to magic tricks. Mm. Whose research lab is this? If it's supposed to be mine, then there should be magical items. Hey. Right? Uh, um. uh right? Uh, why are you asking me? <laughs> uh, smooth. I'm gonna actually, before I talk to them. I'm gonna explore the room. There's a guillotine there in here! There is a guillotine! And a big old saw! A bunch of swords. Bunch of swords, a cauldron, and a cage. sword stabbing box, a cage, and then a body swapping box. Look at all these killing devices. And then and a, large a water, water tank. tank. We can fucking do the prestige. I know, we can, <laughs> we can do a, a decent replication of the prestige here, I think. <laughs> we just need a twin and a cloning machine. Oops, spoilers! <laughs> <laughs> that movie's been out for a long time. It's really good though. <laughs> That's a good one. That one that movie is hoo boy. <laughs> it's, it's, it's great. <laughs> this is a guillotine, right? I know it's just for a magic trick, but it still kind of creeps me out. Is that a real real guillotine? It's like I don't know, and a saw. What a huge saw. This room can't be locked. Oh, wait, this room can't be locked. So we don't just have to worry about the tricks being stolen. Samugi didn't finish her sentence, but I knew what she wanted to say. Um, it's not that I'm thinking the killings are going to happen ag again, but... Uh, okay. Right. I can, uh, I can really feel it now. Just how bizarre this situation is. They're like, okay, this is for real. This is a killing game, and mm -hmm. we need to consider everything now. Yep. And that's a weapon, and that's a weapon, and that's a weapon, and that's a weapon. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Um, large water tank. Look at that. It's a huge water tank. I wonder if this is for a magic trick, too. Probably. Oh, can I not click on the hat? Wow. I'm gonna look on the cauldron. Okay. Uh, um, what is this? A huge cauldron, like one a witch uh, would be stirring in a children's book. You, don't go touching whatever you want. That pot is collecting mana. Huh? Mana? Hmm. Don't you know? It's a necessary energy for. It's a necessary energy source for magic. I see. Oh, I see. You mean like ether or life force? Hmm. Mm, the names are different depending on the school of magic, but I call it mana. This place is filled with mana. It's perfect for me. Hmm, is that so? Okay. Body swapping box. This is going to be used for magic too. I've seen it in a magic show. My backstory is I've seen at least one magic show All once. Right. He's been to a magic show. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, what is this? Hey, that's the magic trick where the person in the box is stabbed by swords but comes out fine. No, 
It's not a trick. That's one of the space type spells. Huh? Space type? <laughs> oh, that sounds like high ranking magic. That's right. Exactly. You need a lot of skill for space type spells. No average mage can handle them. Uh, mm -hmm. So in other words, um, you couldn't just be a mage, you'd have to be a sage. You'd need the words of wisdom for that. Samugi has somehow able to follow all of that. <laughs> Samugi is just like, please tell me more. I must know. <laughs> She's so into it. Birds! Uh, um, oh, that just reminds me of the chickens. I know, it's always <laughs> great when there's pets, but yeah. then they can disappear from time to time. They may die. I, lo I love the, ch the roof chickens are my favorite. Oh, the roof chickens. This is a big cage. Hey, hey Himiko, what kind of magic trick do you use the cage for? You. It's not a trick. I'm telling you, it's real magic. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I forgot about that. Hmm. I use it for a number of spells. It's also good for carrying my familiar. What? Familiar? I see. Oh, you mean that trick where a dove comes out of your hat? Um, or uh, you mean a magical animal? Hmm. Yes, that's right. But my familiar isn't a dove, it's a tiger cub. What? A tiger cub? Where'd you what get that? It? Oh, it must be so cute. Oh, I'm jealous of you being able to pet something fluffy like that, whatever. I'll admit, even I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> All right. Where'd you get a tiger cub? Where'd you get a tiger cub? That's illegal. It's illegal. <laughs> and also, how long has it been a tiger cub? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, they mixed up magic tricks and real magic. But this is a pretty thorough collection. Hey, it seems like there were, uh, like there are labs for everyone. But why prepare so many? What is this place? Monokuma said that this academy for gifted juveniles was made for the 16 of us. Hmm, is that really true? Hmm. Hey, the rooms in the dorms have locks, but this research lab doesn't. Okay. Uh, it looks like they're not private. Are you okay? Are you okay with that, Himiko? Your magic tricks might get stolen. Hmm. You need skills to perform magic tricks. Knowing how they work isn't enough. It's magic. But when I use real magic, but I use real magic, not magic tricks. She's not gonna budge an inch on that point. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, Do you think there was a room like this beyond that wall? But I wonder why they went out of their way to hide it though. Miyu and Kaede's research labs were open from the start. Because it was planned! <laughs> because they needed to be open! Maybe. Potentially. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I mean, they Kaede were never went into hers, so... That's true. Maybe Kaede's didn't really matter. But Miyu used hers yes, that for is true. case one. That is weird. I mean, you bring up a good point, Sumugi. You're right. That's right. Sorry. Oh, sorry. It's probably better to not bring up Kaede just yet, huh? No. Uh, no. It, it's fine. I'm okay. I see. I see. Well, that's a relief. I was just plain worried. Um, I don't know how just yet, but I like Ka But like Kaede said, let's survive and escape this place no matter what. Okay, is there anything else I need to do in here? I think here? that's it. I think that might be it. Let's go find okay. where to use our other three items. I guess we'll go find the dragon statue. Yeah, that, the... that one's the one we have the most obvious lead on. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I don't remember where the dragon statue is. Uh, I think it's out and then up, up one floor. Do I gotta go up one no, more? No, like, I'll go back to the, the main area. Uh-huh. 
and then go towards the, the upstairs. Up through here? Does this take me up? Or does this take me down? This takes you back to the main area. Okay, right. Uh, right, because it takes me up. And now I need to go to the stairs. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, okay. Let's see. And then um, left. Nope, nope. Uh, down here. Yep. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the map. And then left. Uh, and then these stairs. Okay. Oh, I guess that also works. Oh, uh, these are up, right? We gotta go yep. up? Yeah, no, this works. Okay. Because it's right here. Yeah, look at yep. all these people. Oh go. my god. It's all in my characters. Um... <laughs> the camera went lock on! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You're just oh, very buddy. small. <laughs> so you finally decided to raise your head. Huh? What? You're... Up till yesterday, you were always walking around staring at your feet, right? That's why the camera <laughs> didn't because he had his head held high. Yep. <laughs> he had to fight to return to his old ways. <laughs> Even when you had to look up, you used your hat to block out what you didn't want to see. I can't deny that. However, this world can be too big and bright for eyes that have spent too long staring down. So be careful. Don't let your eyes deceive you. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the unsolicited advice. Hey, you're so cool, dude. You're so cool, dude. That was like really good advice. I know. He's just such a cool dude. He's just great. <laughs> Meanwhile, you. And then there's I this don't man. I know what's going on with you. Listen. What, I wonder, does Monokuma wish for us to do? Huh? Uh, what do you mean? I cannot fathom the reason he would give us those items and make us search the school. Hmm, now that I think of it, the school regulations did mention searching the school. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore the campus at your discretion. <laughs> this rule is indirectly urging us to search the school. Yes, I suppose that's true. Let's see. What will come of our search, and how will everyone react to it? I shall closely observe each of them as well. <laughs> I really like your correct yeah. voice. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. It is appropriately <laughs> deeply off-putting. Thank you. <laughs> I really kind of like voicing them. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Ah. Oh, you! I knew you'd come to check this area. That dragon statue seems pretty sketchy. Right. Yep. You're, you're the hint hint one. Oh, oh and she's, a, she's just, just the lingering. I'm just observing. Oh, shit. Hey. Oh. Shuichi! Is there anything Gonta can do? Please say so. That's it? Okay. Hey. Uh. Give me. What do you think? Have you recovered from your injury? Huh? Uh, injury? Yes. When Kaito struck you last night. Okay. Uh, y yes, uh, I'm fine. I didn't bruise or anything, see? Then. Good. It, should it begin to hurt again, please let me know. Though I cannot perform surgeries, I can make use of the medical supplies in the warehouse. Uh, um, you have medical ex uh, experience too, Kirimi? I am a maid, after A all. true maid must be able to adapt to any situation. Besides, I too intend to fulfill Kaede's request. So, I will valiantly perform any task, trivial or otherwise. Kidding me. It sounds like everyone is taking Kaede's final words to heart. I feel like someone's gonna tell her to kill. So, I mean, that feels like an obvious thing, but I feel like a, it might be a... She, or like, she's she might be... Uh, told to do something and she's like I'm here to serve serve and fulfill every request bablamo <laughs> like <laughs> kablooey <Yeah. laughs> and my glock bang bang yeah. she shot me down <laughs> <laughs> even if Kaede is no longer with us Kaede's wish will never vanish yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. I think it's the dragon gem. Ooh. Bing! Ching! That's cool. 
Oh no, it was really cool! We lost the dragon! <laughs> not, not anymore! The hidden walls are like... castle-y? Are you seeing Although this shit? Although this one's like <gasps> less... It's a different castle. Yeah! Yep. That's weird. Part of the wall is gone. Oh. Whoa! That's so cool! We can get past this wall now! All right then, charge! Oh, he's going. Oh. Wait, charging is dangerous. Hm. Um, kidding me? Uh, what's wrong? No, nothing. But I feel stagnant air drifting from this damaged wall, as if no one has set foot beyond this point for quite some time. Huh? Nobody's been here for a long time. Exactly how long is a long time? Oh, good question. Well, they've been renovating this place. Remember they were saying, yep. like, they've been tr they've been in the process of fixing it up, and then they had to kickstart the killing game a little early, it yep, seemed so like. Yep, so it was not finished. Ah, interesting. Okay. Oh, did y'all leave? Hey. Oh, Rihanna's still here. Hey, Rio. What's well, up, man? What, uh, what do you think of this? What's going on with you? I thought that statue was strange. But who could have guessed to do that? Yeah, Agreed. For real, dude. And yeah, you, you, just here to watch, huh? I see. Oh, it was a hidden passage? My, how elaborate. That is a good word for it. Indeed, dude. It, elaborate and long unused, it seems. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's a door here. Yep. And then... And it keeps going. Oh! Yeah, oh, big. Oh, it opens up. What? Okay, we've got like an upper level. All right, let's see which room is this. From the look of this door, it must be an ultimate research lab. All right. All right, let's go inside. Whose room is this? Ultimate maid lab. Maid lab. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Ah. I don't like the dolls. Yep. <laughs> okay. This room gives off an antique vibe. Hi. It seems as if these are Victorian. These decorations adorned the British Empire at the peak of Queen Victoria's reign. Right, Correcchio? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna chime in. This must be my research lab. During the Victorian era, employing a maid was considered a status symbol. If I remember correctly. Speaking of the Victorian era, Jack the Ripper was from that time. Correct? Sure, yeah. I mean, yeah. He I know, was. I know facts. I've listened to podcasts. <laughs> That's the only thing you know <laughs> of the Victorian era. Yeah. Is <laughs> serial killer Jack the Ripper. <laughs> yeah. That is correct. Ever the detective, I see. So this is the ultimate maid's lab. It does seem to be perfectly suited to cure me. Two little ping. Fewer things. Fewer things. One. We got a, a dining table. There's a doll at the dining table. Perhaps a family dinner? I don't like it. That is. This is my research lab. Then I presume these figures represent those I must serve. But why? Weird. Okay. Entrance door. I'll investigate around here a little more. Oh, is that a door to get in from uh, another, yeah, another place? Another side of the... I think it might be the intro. It's like the... Oh, is that where we came in? standing off to the side. Oh, 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 oh. I see, So I that see. there's enough room to, I guess. Okay, I'm going to talk to Corinne. Excellent. Hmm, Victorian. This room is quite tasteful. <laughs> I don't dislike gothic styles such as this. Hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, me too. I see. This appears to be Kirumi's research lab. Being in here brings a tale to my mind. Ricky closes his eyes and spoke as if in a trance. Yes. The era is 19th century England. A gentleman who pledged his loyalty to the queen and a modest but beautiful maid. The story of a love that blooms between the light and darkness of social classes. Hey! That sounds like the plot of a manga for girls. <laughs> Is that so? Then are you saying I am like some young love-struck girl? <laughs> so that is how I am reflected in your eyes. Fascinating. I 
have no idea what that's supposed <laughs> to mean. How do you perceive me? Oh, very interesting. I think that one comment I made is going to be very internalized by him. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Best of luck with that. <laughs> we'll hang out with you. Correct, yo. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll crack that egg. <laughs> yes. In the Victorian era, many servants lived beneath the manners in which they were an they were employed. Uh, uh the they were no sorry, <laughs> Blah, excuse me. <laughs> they were known as the. I'm sorry, I'm getting a bunch of texts and my, <laughs> it's really distracting. My watch keeps buzzing <laughs> and it keeps throwing me off. <laughs> I have popular. I have five right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, they were known as the downstairs people, as a stark reminder of their lower station. And then there's the wall to click on. Oh, was it? Yeah. The old oh, wall. Jeez, it is just a whole big closet door. Okay. I wonder if there's a bunch of maid uniforms in this closet. We might want to check it out. I feel like these rooms are going to be important for situations. No. <laughs> what? No. As we put these characters into situations. <laughs> nah. No. Oh! Oh. Laundry? Okay. Instead, there were a bunch of laundry machines, vacuums, and pressure washers. That is. Okay. These appliances will prove most useful when I perform my cleaning. Huh? Uh, cleaning? You mean the school? Get me, you don't have to do that. I do not agree. I do not mind. To serve others is a maid's duty. Selfless devotion is the principle by which I perform my responsibilities as a maid. I can cast aside my personal feelings for the sake of serving everyone. Hmm. I suppose that's what makes you the ultimate maid. Most people wouldn't do that. Please let me know if you have a request. Given our situation, I will not take the monetary payment. I will grant your wishes. I will do anything you ask. Anything? It's kind of intimidating to say it like that. I feel like they're setting her up to be like, I will do anything you ask. <laughs> anything. Like, she'll do anything. An yep. interesting read, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that becomes another question. Like in the second game, if you tell Kirimi to kill someone, are you the blackened? Or is Kirimi the blackened? Or are you both responsible? Yeah, I mean, because ultimately, while that obviously was something that was examined in the first game, it, she wanted to do what she did. And she yes. Did it, you know what I that, mean? And that like, was the whole. Ultimately, the takeaways that people had, or at least in that case, she had agency and yeah. Yes, that was the whole reveal of that was that it was Yeah, Pekka did what Pekka was gonna do. Yep, yep. She she made that decision. Mm -hmm. And now is the question here is does the ultimate maid ha also have agency? Does every person have agency even when are you having agency when you say I will do anything you say? Because yeah. that is you taking Because we've agency. we've also had a bit of a test of this already too. Uh -huh. with, um the first game with um uh, Celeste and uh, Hifumi. Yes. Where Celeste told Hifumi to do a murder, but Hifumi did it because Hifumi wanted to do it. You know what I mean? Right. Like it, ultimately that line is very uh -huh. tricky. But we couldn't fully explore that because no, then Hifumi then, died. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. That'll be interesting. Okay. It's, uh, it's an interesting thought. Mm -hmm. I guess uh, there's washing, just washing machines. Yep. That's all I can click on over there, I think. Good for cleaning out blood stains and evidence. I'm sorry. I'm just <laughs> everything's a murder tool now. I love that your eyes have been trained <laughs> <laughs> properly. Well done. You have the Duncan Rumpa specs on. Yeah, I've done my reps. Exactly. <laughs> there are a lot of washing machines in here. Sure. That's the end of my statement. That's it. All right. <laughs> okay, we can leave. I guess it looks I like. can leave now. Yep. All right, we've got two more places to find. Two more places. Let's explore this plot top floor, and then if we don't find anything here, we'll explore so elsewhere. We have an ocarina, and we have. It a seems like people print. gather around the the areas, so yep. um, we can use that information to I our thought, advantage. I thought I saw someone up yeah, here. Yeah, it's down down, down the hall. on the hall, right? Yeah. Uh, I passed it. Okay. Oh, 
another lab. And a big old chest. And it's, oh, a big old chest. <laughs> yep. And stairs. Okay. I'm going to talk to Angie. This is probably Goncha's room. Mm -hmm. And maybe I'll, do you think the ocarina or the hand crank for that? I guess we'll go see. Um, hi, Angie. What's up? Yoo-hoo! Shuichi! We've been waiting for you! Hurry, hurry! We're all ready! Hurry? Uh, hurry for what? what? Am I going in the room? We're so excited! Should I go in the room or should I do the chest? It's entirely up to you. Uh, I'll go in the room. Uh, no. This is a strange door. This might be an ultimate research lab. Hmm. Based on the design, could it be the ultimate, ent uh, entomologist lab? Yep. I it's, I know the word, but for some reason, every time I, I come close to it, I get scared. It's a lot of shapes <laughs> yes. of the letters. You yes. know what I mean? Yes, Ugh. that's correct. Oh, fake bugs. Fake bugs. Fake bugs. Fake bugs. What the fuck? They make it feel more buggy. All the rest of them are but dead. You can't give them real bu- Oh. Okay, I just had a thought. If it's the end of the world, does that mean all the bugs are extinct? Like, the bugs are actually gone? I don't know. We had salmon for breakfast. Oh, yeah, we did. But the bugs could be gone. That's true. Well, it, 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 by that point, if the, the bugs oceans are gone, are, the oceans and yeah. rivers are dead, too. Yeah. I mean, I, you, yes, that is a thought, though. That is absolutely a thought. Yeah, just, I don't know. There's a bunch of dead bugs on the wall, so. Insect specimens lined the entire walls. It was a little... No, it, it was very gross. What? No, insect specimens are so cool. I've already established Amazing. that I don't like bugs. That's right, he doesn't like bugs. Kaede hated them more than I did, but yeah. I don't like them. Amazing! This paradise! I suppose I should keep my opinion to myself for now. Uh, Alright, what we got in here? We got arranged books. I can't click on the fake bugs. And we've got insect specimens and bug Cage. Hey, oh, are these real? Maybe, maybe they're real. <gasps> what? All right, let's check on that. What's this? Wow, that is an extraordinarily uh, extraordinary amount of bug cages. Mm. Mm. Lots of larvae and eggs, and they even sleeping in cool place. Uh, um, they were refrigerated. But it's okay. Eggs probably hatch if gone to take good care of them. Well, well. Do your best then. Okay, so there's a bunch of larval bugs and eggs. But no, no, no bug bug. No adult bugs. Yeah. If all these hatch, there will be bugs all over the academy. Okay, well, at least there's living bugs. Releasing all these bugs in a new world? It's like a Bible story. <laughs> Noah's Ark. But all bugs. If I remember correctly, the world was destroyed by a giant flood, and humans and animals began. Perhaps it's a little too dramatic. I mean, this could be an end of the world situation and we gotta repopulate all the bugs. And like, are we the in The bear a... is here. Why is the bear here and killing us? <laughs> yes, it seems counterproductive. That's, that does seem <laughs> counterproductive. Like, why? I don't understand. Okay. Bug wall. There are tons of insect specimens on display. Wow. Pretty. Bugs shine brighter than sparkly rocks! Their bugs are really pretty. They are gorgeous. Yeah. Mm. Going to understand. A person who made these samples must love bugs! I mean, they are they are good specimens. Yeah. Each sample made with love and care! Putting love and care into bugs? Well, I, I suppose everyone's different. <sighs> I just had another thought. Hmm. We have all these rooms that are for us. Could we have made these rooms? Is this, a, is, is there time shit happening? Is there something got like, cause Gonta's saying this was made with all like love and care. It's like, could Gonta have done this and pre prepped this room? And this is like a, this is- It's possible that that is them. the first game. Yeah, it, exactly, yeah. Definitely possible though. But I mean, Everything's we could, on the table. That's what I'm saying, like we could play with every trope cause Don Garoppa has done it. Mm -hmm. So it's like, Mm -hmm. What do we do? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Books. 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 There are a lot of books here. They all seem to be related to insects. 
That's it? Oh. That's it. Okay. Gonta, Gonta, what's up? What do you think of your room? Amazing. Amazing! Gonta wonder how many bugs there are! Gonta's so excited to get his own special room! Mm. Who make room anyway? Gonta need to say thank you. Yeah. Huh? Uh, um... I suppose it was Monokuma and the Monocups? Huh? What? No way! Monokuma?! But no person who likes bugs can be bad person. Mm -hmm. Going to sad. I feel you, man. Hey, it's a good question. One that I was literally just asking. Yeah. Well, well, especially because the room back here was supposed to be stale, right? Yeah. Yes. Which is making me think, like, and this place is super overgrown and stuff. Like, it seems like there has been a lot of time that has passed since this space was used. Mm -hmm. So it just has me feeling a little suspicious. Okay, I think maybe we'll check out this chest and then and then we'll see what we can do next time. What are we thinking for the chest here? What is this? A treasure chest? Is this just something unrelated to the items we have? Mm. Yahoo! Yahoo! We found a treasure chest! Why don't you open it, Suichi? Huh? Uh, really? Uh, I should open it? Uh, yep. I believe this treasure chest is saying you should open it, Shuichi. I'm getting the sense that she thinks it's dangerous and wants me to open it. Hmm. Uh, all right. Fine. With sweaty palms, I cautiously open the chest and... Huh? What? Oh. What is this? A flashlight? No, it, it can't just be a flashlight. Yoo-hoo! Maybe try turning it on? Hey! No, it's too dangerous. Uh, we should inspect it. Huh? Hmm? It'll be okay. Even the flashlight is saying, turn me on! Uh. Turn me on! Hurry up and turn me on, Shuichi! It's begging you! Uh-huh. Then, uh, you're so eager. Uh, why don't you flip the switch, Angie? Mm. Well then. Then I'll meet you in the hallway and inspect this flashlight myself. Huh? Meet, uh, meet me halfway. I thought it said the hallway. Oh, I thought she said hallway too. Yeah. Meet me halfway? Huh? Bayonara. Once you understand, come. I'll come teach you. Bayonara. Okay. What? Bye, Angie. Bye. Angie snatched the flashlight from me and ran off with a bounce in her step. But wait, inspect it? How? Okay, bye. Okay. Is there anything else in here? The treasure chest is empty. That flashlight is the only thing was the only thing inside. Okay, fascinating. All, All right. right. Well, we'll deal with whatever that was later. That was weird. Yeah. Uh, don't know what that was, but we've got two other items. We have unlocked some rooms and different a uh, different. Yeah. We're looks getting like levels. Like more floor. Getting yeah. More floor here. This feels like a nice little crossroads where we could pick up here next time and maybe look for the other two rooms that we have to unlock with our two reward items. Yeah. See what other labs we can find. See if it reveals everybody's labs or just like some people's labs. In like you know incrementally yeah god lots of questions a lot of questions but at least we're, we're you know we're finding new stuff we're expanding our horizons true and true we'll we see what that means next time yep we will see you next time folks bye <laughs>